My name is Mark Williams. I'm the engineering manager of the Sand Springs Residency for the Oklahoma Department of Transportation. With the accelerated bridge construction, we constructed the new foundation under the existing bridge while the traffic was still on it and then constructed the new beams and deck separately beside the bridge so that we wouldn't interrupt traffic. And then when we got ready with everything, we closed the road, demolished the old bridge, and then slid the new beams and deck into place. And the intent was to minimize the disruption of traffic. This is the first project of this type in Oklahoma. It's been done in other states for probably the last 15 years. This whole process was investigated and, and, and researched real thoroughly by the Bridge Division. Uh, they spoke with the Federal Highway Administration to make sure that their funding would be uh, part of this funding for this project. Um, they visited a couple of sites, so once in Utah, and I think some of them may have gone to New York to look at one. And um, then the consultant on this project, Garver, uh, did their homework on it too, and they did the design, and then in conjunction with our ODOT Bridge Division, got together with, with the engineering part of the bridge itself and the slide, and then once they got that part down, then we started the actual construction meetings. Since we're next to the Arkansas River and, and Keystone Lake, there's environmental mitigation notes on the plans and, and cliff swallows and bald eagles come into that and as, as does the American bearing beetle. On this particular job, we got almost to the point to where we could start thinking about doing the slide in May, which is, is past when the, the cliff swallows usually nest. And on May the 5th, the cliff swallows started nesting, so that was the last day we got to work until September 1st, which is the end of the cliff swallow nesting season, so that we would not disturb the cliff swallows. Original time allowed to close the road and reopen it was 21 days. We just reopened today. Today is day 10, so we beat that by 11 days. So the road was only closed for 10 days.